Well, the New York City Council introduced legislation today aimed at keeping people safe during a fire. It comes after the tragic January fire in the Bronx that killed 17 people. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook has more on what's at stake. We are taking the steps today in strengthening our fire safety protocols and procedures. Members on the City Council's Task Force on Fire Prevention, Emergency Management and Housing in Buildings are calling the introduction of these new bills one of the most important efforts yet to prevent such tragedies we saw on January 9th from happening again. An investigation reveals a space heater inside an apartment at the Twin Parks Northwest sparked a massive fire, leaving these 17 people dead. If the heater had a working thermostat, an automatic shutoff feature, it would have turned off and the fire would most likely not have started. Nine bills have been introduced today. They include one that would reduce the amount of time for a landlord to correct a violation to keep or maintain a self-closing door. Also, making it illegal to sell an electric space heater that doesn't automatically shut off when the desired room temperature is reached. Another one on the list, building owners must maintain a minimum heating temperature of 62 degrees during the winter months. We should do everything we can to make it easier for the city's homeowners and property owners to make their families safer uh, in their own homes. The introduction of these new bills follow numerous lawsuits which have already been filed against the housing companies, developers, and investment groups associated with the building, alleging negligence. Now, Twin Parks Northwest has not commented recently on the pending lawsuits and fire, but at one point it has said it will continue to work with the families impacted. Reporting from City Hall, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News.